come back to New York and come back to Brooklyn and the protests that you uh, witnessed, what did you see on ground? What were the emotions? I know you did say that it was sad. It's not only the black, now the white people have seen that this thing is brutal. It's not just a matter of black people, it's for the everybody. Yeah, so that is what I see that I try not to put myself in those things, you know, I try to support by this thing, but I know I can't help myself with, the, with all this corona, so let me step in, you know. Your experience on the African continent, when we have, let's say, what, let, let's call it what it is, when we have the white people on on the continent, how how do you assess our treatment as black people of them when they are on the outside? When they come to Africa, both uh, the white and the Chinese come to Africa and they find everything easy in Africa. We respect them, we give them everything, but but they don't consider us like that. You know, black people, we are God-fearing people. You know, we give them everything we want and our leaders have to open their eyes. You know, they have to be serious. You know? It's about time that we're all human we are all equal. Nobody is better than somebody. You know, some of us have been on the road for a long time. We haven't seen, we haven't been to jail. We don't want any trouble. We don't want any money from government. We just do what we love to do. 